Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a drawing template using only concepts on the iPad. So starting on a brand new drawing within the concepts app, we first need to set the scale of the drawing. In this example, I'm using A3, but you can create a template to A1 size if you want. Concepts gives you lots of different types of drawing sizes to choose from. So just choose the one you want and you're good to go. So first of all, we're gonna draw a border. You can do this quickly by going import and selecting a square shape and then just manipulate it to the size you need. Once you're happy with your border, we can start drawing in lines to create the title block. The title block is where it's gonna house a lot of the key information about your drawing. This will include the drawing number, the revision, who it's drawn by, who it's checked by, what scale the drawing's at, the date and also the issue date. You'll probably also want to include the company's logo, who your client is, the project name or title, the title of the drawing, the drawing status, and also the project job number. There's also going to be a place where we can add in the different revisions, and this is called the revision box. Now it's time to add in a little bit of text. So using the text tool, we can just create and add a label. Unfortunately, the text options within concepts is actually quite limited. So you can't actually change the font style. So you're stuck with this, unfortunately. Position the text to where you want it to be. Then we can scale the text to our own preference. To scale anything in concepts uniformly, select a corner whilst using your Apple Pencil to scale. But whilst you're doing that, press and hold with a finger and it will scale the drawing or the text uniformly. Once you're happy with the text size, you can just duplicate it and then move it across to the desired position. Once I've moved the text into position, I've actually found that the text is still a little bit big, so I choose to scale it down even further. Okay, now that I'm actually definitely happy with the text size, I can start changing the text. And we're basically going to repeat the process for all the boxes within this title block. Whenever you're selecting an object in concepts, you can see that there are some guidelines. I'm using these to help me position the text so that they are roughly in line, but I'm pretty much doing this by eye. If you really wanted to be super accurate, you could count the squares. Okay, so what we can do next is export the drawing to a PDF. The options you want to select is the Adobe PDF Flattened, A3 and Transparent. If you created it as an A1 drawing, it would show up as A1, not A3. I also want to point out that the fact that I can export to PDF is because I have bought the one-time purchase to allow me to export to PDF. So unfortunately, if you're only using the free version, you won't be able to do this. However, if you're finding that you are using concepts quite a lot, I think buying the PDF export function is really, really worthwhile. So now press export and then select a place to save it. So I'll save it to files. Give it a name like A3 template. So just to check that it's exported properly, we can go into files, find the file, open it and just have a look. Happy days. Okay, so let's test this template out. Let's create a new drawing. Now we can change the paper size from A3 to infinite. We can do this by just simply clicking the infinite button. Now let's import the drawing template that we just created. So let's go to import, from file, select the A3 template and insert it. You'll notice that it's created a new layer. So let's just rename the layer from image to template. Let's also name the other template Architects Background. 
because what we want to do is import an architect's background so that we can annotate it with our own notes and comments. So same again, go to import, file and select the drawing that you want to import. If you select a drawing or a document which contains multiple pages, it will show you a thumbnail of all the pages and you can select the drawing that you wish to import. So I just want to import the first drawing, so that's what I'm going to click. At the moment, the architect's background is actually on the layer above my template. I actually want the architect's background below the template. So all we need to do is tab and hold one of the layers and move it to the desired position. Now that the template is in front of the architect's background, I'm just going to quickly disable the layer by clicking on the eye on the right. In this example, I only want the architect's plans, so I'm going to get rid of everything else around it. I'm going to do this by using a white fill tool and then just creating a rectangle and going over all the places which I don't want to show up. You don't have to do this, but I've selected all the white fills and the architect's plan and just grouped it together. So now that we've gotten rid of everything that we don't want to see, we can turn on the template layer back on, select the template and then click on this button and this basically turns on the transparency. And this is why when you exported the template, you needed to click on the transparency setting. So now you can see the architect's plans within your drawing template. You can now position your template so that the architect's plan is more centered. This little bit isn't really necessary because when you export the drawing, we're going to select a white background anyway, so you're not going to be able to see any of the grids. So now I'm just going to add a new layer and just call it Notes. And this is just to demonstrate that when you export, it's going to export everything which you've done within a A3 drawing. Okay, so now that you've marked up the drawing and added in your own comments, it's time to export it. Now the export settings that we want this time around is going to be PDF again, but this time we want PDF bounds, and then we want to select paper and original pages. The export might actually take a while if you've got a lot of information on your drawings. So instead of generating a PDF, it's actually going to generate a zip file. If we go to the location of the zip file, unzip it, and open up the folder. You'll see a couple of files and the file that we actually want is the A3 template. The other file is just the other drawings which we can just delete. So if we open up the drawing we can see that it's got all of our notes and it's got the architect's plans within it. Okay so that's the end of this little tutorial. So you might be wondering why not just import a template from CAD. Well not everyone has CAD and if you're only using your iPad I think this is actually a very valid solution to creating your own drawing template and just making your sketches that much nicer and neater. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.